And yes, he okay. did do the things that he said he did. I heard you. I, people said you was talking shit about Dr. Sabi. Yep. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay? Let's, let's talk go. about it. Cause... Mucus is the enemy. He fucking okay, well, exposed that. For, and he... for, first, okay. Mm-hmm. For, first of all, let's just, let's just look at some facts. Yes, okay? let's. Dr. Sabi does not have an actual medical degree. He has yeah. a certificate of uh-huh. healing. It's a piece of paper that says okay. certificate of healing. So what? So to me, he's as much of a doctor as Dr. Dre. See, you're trying to be funny right now, but <laughs> that's some bullshit. Because although he doesn't have a certificate from the white man's fucking school, this motherfucker has been studying homeopathic medicine for most of his fucking life and probably knows more than most doctors know about this fucking field. Okay, so someone like me doesn't necessarily need the approval of, of the powers that be to, to, to let me know if somebody is an expert or not. I'm going to test their knowledge. I'm going to see what they know. And I'm going to decide for myself if this man is a doctor. And I'm telling you, that man was a doctor. I don't give a fuck what they say. But continue. Well, I mean, I'm not saying you have to go to a white medical school. You can go to a black medical what school. What I'm saying is they all go under the criteria of, of, of Western medicine. You see what I'm saying? They're all going by the criteria of Western medicine and have some sort and, and are and you're only official if you're accredited by these people. So yes, that is white people's institutions and it's their fucking shit how they set it up. Um that does not take away someone's knowledge. Like I could have studied there's plenty of uh jailhouse lawyers. They can't fucking uh practice law in a real fucking court of law, but these motherfuckers, a lot of them know more than practicing lawyers. Am I going to just shit on them, uh, just disregard their knowledge just because they don't have a piece of paper? Like, that's retarded. That makes no sense. And he's not as much of a doctor as Dr. Dre because Dr. Dre knows about music. He doesn't know about the human body. So, you know, it's not just a title. You see what I'm saying? Like, uh, I mean, technically, you could say, yeah, he just gave himself that title. Shit, I'm Lord Jamar. I gave myself the title of a lord. Somebody goes, oh, he's not a real lord. He didn't, you know, in the British monarchy or whatever the fuck they think a real lord is. Um, That's, that's, we got to throw that out the window, Vlad. Keep moving. What else you got about Dr. Sabi? I don't think that having a medical degree is the only way that you could heal somebody. Me personally, I went through serious health problems and I found out it was actually all in my head. It was, it was the stress and me, me being a, a hypochondriac, you know, who's always scared of, you know, dying from some crazy disease and, and everything else like that, fucked me up. I lost like 40 pounds. And once I realized it was in my head and positive thinking started to take over, my health came back. A lot goes into the mind-body connection. Correct. I got it. I absolutely believe in it with first-hand knowledge once again. This is not me telling someone else to do it like, like you have. This is me actually doing it myself. So you and I have both had experiences close to us. But at the end of the day... He claims to have cured AIDS and cured cancer. Mm-hmm. I've never seen any actual proof of any of this. The okay? proof is they took him to fucking court and yes. couldn't yes. fucking. <laughs> they took him. They took him to court, and I looked up this court case. Mm-hmm. That court case didn't actually prove that he cured anybody. Do you know what that what that court case? What the outcome of that was? What, that he didn't treat them? That, that they couldn't prove that he was treating them? In the court case, hold on. Because I, I was looking into this stuff too. Go ahead, let me hear what you're about to say. He was acquitted because the, juror, because the jurors claimed the state failed to show he made a medical diagnosis. Correct. They couldn't prove he was that he treating diagnosed. people. Right, correct. So he was treating people, but he wasn't yes. diagnosing them. 
And then, right. so that was the key too. They were coming to him saying, I have AIDS, I have this. He didn't look at them and say, you have this. But he treated them for it. And what you're not telling them is in the fucking, um, in that court case, all he needed was like nine people to say that he cured them. He brought like 75. So why don't you fucking uh, let the people know that shit? None of those 75 people has actually been proven that he cured them of anything. Come they on, just said come it. On, bro. What? At the end of the day, nobody, none of those people took an AIDS test before Glad. and after Dr. Sebi. If you're going to hold him It never to this, happened. If you're going to hold him to this stringent of a, of a thing, then there's a lot of other shit I need you to hold as, as just as tough. Let Trust me tell you me. something. There is a standard HIV test out there used all over the right, planet. Right, and it's bullshit, it tell- lad. It's okay. bullshit. <laughs> the motherfucker who made the test. Oh, my God. Blad. Okay. Stop it. Stop okay. it with your mainstream bullshit. Okay? Okay. Dr. Do you know is a credible man. We're not going to fucking, we're not going to uh, talk down about him or nothing like that. I'm telling you, he was doing what the fuck he said he was doing. Okay? You can't prove okay. that he didn't do it. Right? And you can't prove that he did okay. do it. Okay, so, so then is, we just, so just now we're in the is. realm of belief then. So it's either you believe he did it or not. Yeah. I believe well, he and, did do it. 